Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard New York Jets News, hosted by Two Jets, the best darn place for some Jets news. Enjoy your flight. The New York Jets lose to the Buffalo Bills 18. Taking a look at the statistical leaders for both teams, Josh Allen completed 30 passes on 43 attempts and threw for 307 yards. Sam Darnold completed 12 passes on 23 attempts and had 20, 120 yards and two interceptions. Josh Allen led the Bills in rushing. He had 11 carries and 61 yards. Frank Gore also had 11 carries and had 60 yards. Cole Beasley had 11 receptions and had 112 receiving yards. And Denzel Mims had four receptions and 42 yards. Taking a look at some of the other stats, Buffalo had 422 total yards while the Jets had 190. Buffalo had one turnover while the Jets had two. Buffalo had the ball for 34 minutes and 33 seconds while the Jets had the ball for 25 minutes and 27 seconds. And Buffalo had 26 first downs while the Jets had 17. Before the game started, we found out the New York Jets were switching play callers. Um, we switched to Dowell Loggins, Adam Gase was calling the plays in previous weeks. So we got to see what a not Adam Gase called offense looked like, and it looked pretty decent on that first drive. We looked like we were the 2019 Jets playing against the Oakland Raiders. I mean, we were just driving the ball down the field, and we ended up with three on that first drive. And in the second quarter, we ended up scoring a touchdown to get a 10 to nothing lead. You know, the Jets were playing a great football game at this point. The best, we didn't look like the 2020 New York Jets. We looked like a good football team against a good football team. The Jets were in position to win this ball game. And then next thing you know, mistakes were made, mistakes were made, and more state mistakes were made, and the Jets ended up losing. The New York Jets lost this game because of our offense. We had productive offense. We saw a productive offense in the first half. But in the second half, we had four total offensive yards. Four. To win football games, you need to have positive offensive yards. When you get positive offensive yards, the ball moves towards the end zone. When the ball is close to the end zone, you're in the red zone. And whenever you're in the red zone, you're most likely going to come away with points. And the Jets just did not do that at all in the second half. We did do it in the first half, but if we did it in the second half, we probably could have won this game. I was impressed with the defense, mainly the red zone defense. In the second half, I felt like Buffalo was in the red zone every single drive and they did not come up with any points well, touchdowns they came up with field goals because this Jets defense was like you're going to kick a field goal because the offense is going to score touchdowns and win this football game and if the Jets would have just had two good offensive drives we could have won this game one drive resulting in a touchdown the other drive could have resulted in a touchdown but it could have just been a field goal games 2018 the New York Jets win and are no longer going to be 0-16 positives from this game Denzel Mims and Lamarca P. Ryan were thriving in the first half. They barely got used in the second half. Based on that first half, I liked what I saw out of them. I feel like they can be potential starters for the New York Jets in the future. Makai Becton did his thing. The pass rush. You know, the Jets' defensive line is very young. With McClendon gone, it's... I like what I saw out of the New York Jets pass rushers. Bryce Huff got that tackle for loss. Quentin Williams got a sack. John Franklin Myers was applying pressure, and Terrell Bashman was also applying pressure. Pressure, and he got a sack, and it was a strip sack, and John Franklin Myers fell on it. I like what I saw out of the pass rush. Bryce Huff had that tackle for loss, and Bryce Huff has been making nice plays in all the games he's played so far this season. Quentin Williams was applying pressure and ended up getting a sack. Terrell Bashman was also applying pressure, and he ended up getting a sack, which was a strip sack, and John Franklin Myers, who was also doing phenomenal today, hopped on the ball. The New York Jets' entire defensive line is pretty young. So I feel like we can, if the guys can develop into, you know, better players, we could have a good off now defense on to the bad. There were a lot of bad things in this game, but the worst was Sam Darnold. 
He had 120 passing yards and two interceptions. 120 passing yards is like barely any in the, in the NFL. And a good quarterback doesn't throw a lot of interceptions. That's why Patrick Mahomes and Rodgers have like one or two this season. Darnold knows his job's in the line. He knows that if he doesn't play well the rest of the games, he's going to be replaced by Trevor Lawrence. And the Jets, you know, aren't going to see Darnold play well in like a couple games this season and be like, okay, if we surround him with more talent, he can be a star. No, they're going to want to see if Darnold can be a star. Because Lawrence is like the best draft prospect ever. And they're not going to pass on him because they think Darnold has potential. No, they're going to draft Lawrence if Darnold has potential. They need to know if Darnold is the starter for the future. And in this game, he did not show that. So we're going to have to see, you know, what he does in this next couple of games. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you like what you saw or heard, make sure to subscribe because I post content like this every single day. Thanks for tuning in. And as always, go Jets. Peace. He did the, mess. He did the monster.